So anyway, uh, we seem to be inundated with adverts at the moment. We turn on the telly or online, and it's about online estate agents, uh, and they promise to slash the cost of selling your house. Yeah, which always makes you think, hmm, it sounds too good to be true. You know, is there a catch? Or maybe they are just excellent value for money. Well, we've got a property expert, Kate Faulkner, with us today uh, to explain it all, because the adverts, I have to do, say, sound amazing, don't they? So, oh. You know, sell your house for 300 quid or something. Absolutely, or even less than that Or even sometimes. less than that. So, so, t just to explain to people first the different types of estate agents. OK, so you've got three, really, now. You've got the online agent, the way you... They'll just really advertise your property, and they may or may not do that um, on the likes of Rightmove or Zoopla, where a lot of the buyers are going, so you need to check that out. That can be from just £49, so incredible So all they do money. is just put a picture of your house details well, on their website? Yeah, or you might have to take the photos yourself and then upload them. Okay. Now, they then do add-ons, so you might, they might be, able, might be able to book the photography through them, for example, and do viewings, but that's their initial starter price. I've never met an estate agent who could do a viewing better than I could. Re well, it yes, really, you, you it really have the annoys gift me. Of talking, it, no, it really <laughs> annoys me when you go into somebody's house and you'll say, "Is this gas or electric?" And they, um, um, they never know anything. They never know anything. Well, they actually should... sometimes you might want to do that yourself. What's the middle Absolutely. one? Absolutely. So the that? middle one is if you're not don't really want to do all of the work yourself, and you'd like somebody to come round, look at your home, help you put the value on it, um, and then maybe if you can't do all the viewings yourself and you need a little bit of extra help. Well, sometimes it's not the fact that you can't do them. You can't, you're not available. A lot of people are at exactly. work and, yeah. and you don't want to always just do it at the weekend. Yeah, or the and, evenings. and sometimes it can be a bit awkward because actually if you're doing a viewing about how lovely your home is and that person and clearly doesn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> it can be a little awkward. So actually, even I do, if I do when doing viewings or selling a home, then I like somebody else to do the first yeah. viewing and then I come in on the second. So that's what I tend to do. So that those sort of prices are from, from sort of about uh, 795 upwards, but it can escalate quite a lot, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. And then the third way is your traditional estate agent, and that's fairly straightforward because we're all used to that. And the one thing they don't do, which the online agents do, is they will put their prices on there, whereas an agent will come and negotiate a commission yeah. and you pay that right at the very end only What's the average commission the now for a high street estate Anything agent? Anything from about one to one and a half, maybe a little bit more than that in a higher value property. 